Hello, welcome to Scarborough Hacks. Today I will talk about something really rudimentary, which is Unix aliases. And uh, hopefully you're already using lots of aliases. I will now talk about what it is and few, uh, show you a few of my favorites. So bash aliases is a way to uh, make shortcuts uh, for common commands that you type all the time. So for instance, if you type ls, uh, that will then typically give you a listing like this. But if you want to have long listing, like with file sizes and stuff, you can do dash L and you can do A for all files, you get the hidden files as well. If you want to have human sizes instead of these byte, you know, the size in byte here, uh, you can do an H for human size and then, you know, you get kilobytes here and, and megabytes and gigabyte markers. And instead of typing all of that every time, you type this all the time. You can instead say alias ls equals bus. And then whenever you type ls, you get the full thing. If you want the default behavior back, you do un alias ls and then you get it. Right? Um, I, have, oh, I have so many aliases, I have a dedicated file for it. Uh, bash, bash rc aliases. Um, if you have a look at that, there's lots of aliases. And having that in a dedicated file, I can source that from both bash and C shell. So depending on which shell I run, I get the same aliases. Today I want to show you my git aliases. So git is the version control I use most these days. And let's see, so the first one is to show the git branch, the current branch. So here I am on the main branch and I can do git gb and I get the current branch. So this is this saves me from typing branch. You know, not all that much, but it's just faster. And then of course, if I pass parameters to it, like all, this is just the same as git all. So it really, the this is really an abbreviation for this one and whatever you pass onto it is then sent to the actual command. So the, the alias is expanded first and then all the parameters is, are sent to it. And then the second one, git, git commit amend. So that's, for instance, if you want to, you have made a git commit. Um, let's see. So here I have a, a message and let's say I want to fix up on that message. I can do gca and then that will then amend, you know, add some more to this commit. So now if I do git log, you can see that the message was amended. So it's very, very useful. And when you have that as a, an alias, you just do GCA. I find that I do it a lot more rather than if I had to spell it all out. If I had to do, do that one, I would do less often. So it definitely to put it, it supposedly speeds you up and adds that kind of convenience and comfort on your command line so you you do things more often without thinking about it and without thinking of it as being a hassle. Um, a third alias I use a lot in git is jday so that's git diff and then I do word diff equals color and color maybe that's another uh, option to the git diff subcommand um, which um, combines the diff so uh, rather than to have so if you have a like, let me show you an example instead so let's say yeah so here I have a list of my recorded talks and normally this here would be listed as two lines one which is the edited line uh, the removed line than one with the added line. Of course, this was, you know, now it shows me the change in place and then with colors, and I find it easy to say that, well, this stuff here was removed, that's in red, and this was added, this is in green, but the rest of the line stays the same. The default behavior would be to do get if. And here you can see that it's two lines First the one that was removed and then the one that was added. 
So this here, let's say if I, I could do a split even, so you can compare those two. So you can, you know, here, here there's one added, so that's the same one. Um, you can see a, another difference here is that you don't get the plus marker. It's just in line with green, and and uh, and here I think the big win. It's a big win that you you don't have two lines here. You just show it in line what was actually changed. Very useful and something I use all the time. Okay, so that's J day, and then G G G. That's basically to search for a string inside of any diff in any commit. So let's say that you have source code and somewhere uh, you want to search for all the commits that contains a diff, a code change, that contains a certain word, for instance, uh, unit. Uh, and here I now get all the commits that has a diff, not the message, commit message. That's easy enough, that's, that's git, git log grep. But this here searches to diff, and you can see there's a hit on the Unix and yeah, many more. So the the GDG is very useful if, if, for instance, you have a commit. If you wonder about when a function was removed from from the source tree, you know when did this uh, Java class re uh, lose this public method um, publish article? Then you can do GDG publish article, and you will find the commit that both added the function to start off with and the one that removed it. GL, uh, that's for git log and decorate, I mean, so you get it annotation with branches and, and tags and stuff and graph, it gives you some visual indication of when commits were committed on a branch and then merged to the current branch and so on. Um, I'm not normally I'm not interested in the merge commits, and if there is a signature, I want to want it to show it. So that's GL like that. Um, here I don't. <laughs> uh, so this here is the annotation. Uh, I don't have any tags in this repository, so otherwise I would see that as well. Yeah, uh, let's say I could probably tag. How do I make a tag? Do I do it like this? Okay. Yeah, here. So now you've got the tag here as well. All right. Um, yeah, just want to add the signature back in to now add a git signature. All right. Um, next, alias glp. So that's git log. And then I also want the patch. So I want not only to see they, so here I have all the git messages, commit messages, but I also want to see the diff of each. So then I do glp, so alias glp, and now I get the messages, good command messages as well as the diff. I find this very, very useful. I use it every single day. Uh, GPR, uh, git pull rebase, it's basically a game whatever is on the server and rebase so that it's my current commits that I haven't pushed yet, they are done at the top as if I had pulled it, you know, as, as if I had pulled the latest changes before I made my changes. Um, this is something I just constantly do. Um, let's see, so I'll just uh, so now I sign and I want to uh, update it for this. Yeah. And then I can get pull rebase. Um, yeah. Very good. Um, that's it. That's what I want to show you. Um, I'll put a link to my in my full list of aliases because it's uh, fairly long and there might be some other useful bits for you there. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.